So number seven then from paper one of the 2016 National 5 Maths. Here we go, three-dimensional geometry, three-dimensional coordinates. Here's a pyramid and watch it says it's got a rectangular base. So these two sides aren't the same. For one mark, you have to find the coordinates of B. And the coordinates of B have got no consequence to part B itself. So don't worry about this because it is trickier than normal, this part B, this point B, I mean. There's only the one mark. First thing to notice is it lies on the horizontal plane XY, so it's got no height. But you have to get all three to get the mark, though. Next thing would be, to get to B, I need to know how far I go along and how far I go back. Well, certainly you have to go too long to start with and then the length of this edge. And the clue comes up here. That midpoint is 5 along. This midpoint is 5 from the origin, which means that at that point, if that's 5 along and that's at 2, that part must be 3. So that must be half of the base, so the other half must be the other 3. So you've got 5 plus 3 is 8 along. Or you could say 2 plus the 6. Similarly, 2 is only halfway back. So at the midpoint, if that's 2, that's just halfway back is 2, so all the way back must be 4. B. What's the length of edge AV? Now that might look trickier, because you could consider your right angle triangles, and you could do it that way. You've got this vertical plane triangle here, you certainly know its height is 6, and for the base of it, this line here, this half diagonal, you could construct another right angle triangle because it's 3 along and 2 in. So you could use Pythagoras in 3, 2, get this side, then use this side with the 6 to get that side. But that's all taken care of in the displacement AV. If you work out the vector AV, which is a displacement going from A to V, the magnitude of that displacement is the distance you've travelled. So you want this then for the answer. How far do I go going from A to V? Well, first of all, find that. AV would be V minus A. V is 526. 526. A is 200. So 5 take away 2 is 3. 2 take away 0 is 2. 6 take away 0 is 6. The same numbers he had before, the 6, 2, 3. That's the sizes of those parts of the 2 Pythagoras. Which means that to get the length of that displacement, to find how far you've travelled, to get the distance between the points, you just get the magnitude of that vector. That'll be 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 6 squared. Because it really came from that double acting Pythagoras. So it's the square root of... 9 plus 4 plus 36. 49, that's very nice, because it's a nice 7 then. Well, it'd have to be, because it's paper 1, unless, of course, they wanted it in sub form. So now I'll just say AV. The edge AV is 7.